Legend of Total War here with part 141 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we conquered uh, Aventikos, and that's about it. Now we're going to fight this battle here. Odds actually kind of aren't in our favor. We're outnumbered a little bit. But they've just got garbage, and these naked fanatics have got, like, no armor. The dicks hanging out, silly looking things. Alright, um... We really shouldn't have any problems with this. All infantry armies are horse archer specialties. We're approaching 163 episodes. Now, 163 is um, significant because the longest series that I've ever done in, in terms of episodes, not in terms of actual, you know, Playtime um, was the the Carthage. This is Total War for Rome 2. 163 episodes, I think it was. This is uh, without a doubt. We will probably hit more than 200 episodes, but yeah. So yeah, just go in there and start shooting. Doesn't matter if we shoot them at the front or the back. I think. The aim for their archers. Although they're easy to kill in melee, just, just whatever. Alright, let's start surrounding them. That would be best. These aren't the line infantry. Let's, let's get around their backs. Spread out. Then you get opportunities when they, they sort of pull their soldiers back. And you shoot them in the back. Because they're indecisive. I do not want to put them on skirmish mode because I don't feel comfortable with it. Anyway, skirmish mode is kind of lazy. If you can train yourself not to use skirmish mode, you'll be better. Improve your reflexes. micromanaging skills and such. So we've split up their army into three groups and now we're just picking them apart piecemeal. Back. Okay, it looks like they're trying to get out of here now, but it's too late. If they turn around, it makes it easier for me to shoot them. After all, all we need to do is get 85% kills. We get that, we're home free. Okay, look at that, they've got the legionary eagle or something. I got a few units like that. There's the naked, naked spearmen. They get that eagle thing. Okay, they're still going to run away, but they've hit. They're just about to hit 85%, which means even if they ran away, it's um, not going to save them. They're all dead. Fuck that one unit there, who cares? 
Who was worried? I wasn't. This army is great for this kind of shit. So we lost, what was it, 11 men? And they had archers as well. It's not like my arm army is armored. So they sorted that out really well. Victory and honor! My lord, march! For death, march! Out of move, sir! My lord! Okay. Sir. Let's see if we can leave... Just leave this whole area. Just leave him behind. No, it needs garrison. We'll have to stay there for at least a turn. Need to get moving as well. Come around over this way, I suppose. Move out. Out of move, sir. Build forward. At your service. Moving. Move depleted, sir. I think we're, we're approaching the end of the turn. I don't see much else that needs to be done. Seems like it. Ready to sail. For death. Ready. I'll try and get these guys back. Yes, Probably forgot about them for a while, but that's okay, it happens. Hang on, that's not owned by Carthage anymore, it's owned by the uh, Lusitani. Yeah, I don't really care about my alliance with them that much. I mean I'd rather have the large city than their fucking alliance. And it looks to me like they've got about four settlements, so... Yeah, why not? We'll fight them. I mean, the Romans, they're really not that much of a threat now. I can't see anything else I need to do. Oh, hang on, what about the guy that was over here? Yeah. Keep him moving. Shit, that's a lot of guys in there. I forgot sir, about them. Sir. My lord, my lord. That'll save me a bit of cash. You suck. At your service. Move in. Move in. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, that's right. Retrain these guys. Good, we found their other settlement in those mountains. I don't know what they're called. The fuck? We are That's bizarre. Try not to forget about those guys. So what have what have we got here? Mostly archers. They're coming in as well. I mean they're not gonna assault on the first turn. It's just a little bit of assistance could come in handy. We should, we should definitely sell out this turn, but if, you know if it doesn't go 100% according to plan, I wouldn't worry about it too much. The fact that they're really experienced isn't going to matter at all when it comes to getting shot. I don't think any of these units are particularly well armoured. No, so they're all going to be quite vulnerable to missile fire, so that's good for him. Alright, are you guys able to leave now? I know the governor's not going to be able to go. Alright, 
force. Onward, my lord. Sir, forward. Actually, I wonder if he can leave. Jeez, he could leave. Just uh, build that and you can leave. Oh, it looks like you're in charge of them. I guess we could put you in charge of this settlement. It actually makes things worse. Whatever. Because if it gets to 70%, that's pretty good. Move out. Oh, oops. Okay, so what are we doing with you? Punch them back. Why don't you stay there just for the turn? Fine, come around this way. Move depleted, sir. Prepare fortification. He might be able to leave soon. But everything's looking pretty good. Fuck off, Germans. We don't have any alliance with you. No, nope, they want me to throw out. Let's destroy this. There's the Carthaginians. I'm not too concerned about them right now. I want the cities. So let's grab this. And then we take them by ship to there. We need to get to whatever the settlement that is. Like, Orgula, I think it is. Okay, I've got my guy here. Send them back this way. Yes, sir. Ready to sail. Yes, sir. Ready to sail. We're not going to be able to leave yet, I don't think. For that? Yes, Captain. Leaving the army. Disembark. Yes, sir. Yes, Stratigos. So these guys here, they're finished. Just walk them up to here. March. Moves depleted, sir. Ready to sail. Yes, sir. Leaving the army. All ashore. No more moves, sir. My lord, ships ready! Ready to sail! Yes, Captain! No more moves, sir! For that? Good, March. everything's coming along. Um. No moves, oh, yeah, there's that. I forgot about that again. Um. For that? Yes. Wait, can you leave this turn? I want to get them moving. Yes, My lord? Ooh, public order is still not very good. I mean, that unrest is likely to go down again next turn. But there's nothing else here that's going to be constructed in one turn, so yeah, we'll have to, um... Have to wait here until that's built, and then maybe... We'll, we'll see if we can move out next turn. We'll just stay... There. All right, let's sell you out here. Okay, they don't have any miss. Oh, they've got the um, Scythian horse archers. That's okay. We can do all oh, and those. It's fine. Prioritize sh uh, shooting them as much as possible, and we'll just see how we go. So, like, it doesn't matter if we just if we just go back into the fort and don't finish off the fight. Um, what's important is that we take minimal casualties, because if it's a draw. No side will recover casualties. So let's just keep our casualties or keep our losses to a minimum. 
and we should be fine. Okay, where are they? They're out here. Set these guys up. Right there. Move these guys to the back. I'll only move them outside if it looks like we're going to crush them. So what are they going to do? That's good. Get a chance to shoot them on the flank. Gotta get rid of these goddamn Scythian archers, but... Whatever. Okay, those of you that can focus on him, do so, otherwise... Fuck it up, they really... These horse archers are overpowered when in the AI's control. Okay, everyone else... Get out here. Are there other units shooting at us? No. Okay, no, no, get back inside, get back inside. Except you're already out, so run over here. Get back inside, quickly. Once we get rid of all their archers, and if it were to sally out next turn, then they wouldn't be able to do anything. There's only a handful of them left. Okay, you two get out as well. That's what I like to see. Good. There are horse archers are gone. I wonder if they would withdraw. I mean, these are rebels. They have to fight to the death. Get out. We still need to get rid of that guy, but it's not that much of a priority. Do here, don't shoot them yet. When they turn their back, Good. then we I'll want to shoot them. Because they'll, they'll turn back eventually. Let them get close. Let them think that they can get us. But they can't. anymore. Cool, 
or 37%. We're going pretty well here. We might be able to finish this off. The archers are doing exceptionally well. Sits there sending some more over here, which is fine by me. They're dead. They're charging. <laughs> gotcha, motherfucker. You're not good enough to fight me. Stay out of the group there. So what's the percentage now? Nearly 50%. Good if we can kill their general, but I'm happy just continuing to do this. Okay, the next load of videos are on their way. The balance of power shifted quite significantly in our favour now. Okay, don't shoot them when their their fronts showing us. This gives us an opportunity to rest when they're, when they're like this. Oh, fuck! Get out of there. Okay, they got a hit on us, but we got the better of them, as far as kills are concerned. Okay, so we have lost 5% and them 61%. We're getting a little bit low on ammo now. You guys can see that. stuff. What are we up to now? 68%. I'd love it if they would all just run away, because because they're rebels, they'd, they'd still end up dead. But I just don't think they're going to do that. They'll fight to the death. So we might need to start getting these guys out. We've still got a bit of fight left in us, but eventually we are, of course, going to run out of ammo. they turn around of course. Shit. Everyone's got fucking javelins these days. I thought they turned around. Getting closer. So what are we up to now? Sixty-nine percent. I guess now just shoot it whatever you want. I don't care.
75% of them just killed by the archers. Cannot complain with that. Alright, just pull them back. We don't need them right now. It's time for the pikemen to, to do their job. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the general to maybe take out these archers first. when it does that. Go charge into them. You. Go charge after their general. See how that goes. And you can use your javelins. We'll see if that works. There's nothing special about these bodyguard, so if they die, it's not a big deal. Kill the general. Why is it taking so long? Just surround him if you can. So at least somebody's attacking him in the back. Good. Now kill him. Oh good, we could kill them. Alright, good. Careful dude, I don't want you dying. Can't replace you out here. That being said, I can't replace any of them, but I could always use more cavalry. Big fat charge right into their back here. guys down just to stop them from bloody coming back. Oh, he's about to break anyway. Motherfucker. Go near my pikes, you prick. Good, we didn't lose very much on all, at all at that one. It was good. Hopefully it doesn't just respawn though. I've seen in the past um, that rebel armies, you know, you're defeated in a certain area because they're supposed to be there. And um, it represents them being like an independent state when they couldn't actually um, create more factions. So hopefully it doesn't come back. Because there's this guy here, he's supposed to be the protector of, of this region. I just hope they don't get another one. I might just stay here so these guys can catch up. I don't know. Because we don't want to attack this guy head on at all. Why don't we go around this way? Because he might try and block the river. 
It'll take us longer to get there, but the thing is, if we kill him, he's just going to respawn. I'm fairly sure of that. We just need to get to the city. Alright, let's build stuff up. What are we doing here? Build that, I suppose. We need a retium to grow, but at the same time, public order. Yeah, whatever. I think we can get it to huge city. Hang on, go back to a retium. What kind of garrison do we have here? Alright, why don't we take them to Araminum. Increase... oh shit. What about you leave now? Go somewhere else to administrate. Now you really need to stay there, don't you? I mean, maybe he could administrate if I turned that up. If we disband enough of these guys here, they'll turn into it'll get the access to huge city, which will drastically improve public order. Okay, we don't need all these people at Bononia. Okay, we need to disband 3,000 men here if you want to do this. My lord? Yes, Stratigos. Orders. Orders. Move out. Okay, we're going to need to leave someone behind. Just send them back from here. My lord? March. My lord? March. My lord? God. What's a guy gotta do? Okay, finally. Okay, now you come over here and disband. Okay, we still need a little bit more. Two more needed. Yes, Yes, Okay, then we get make it a huge city. If you could just stay there until this is built, that's going to fix up the public order heaps. And also the population is going to go down now. And then I want you to come over here and basically we'll try and do the same thing with them. So yeah, you, who we don't want to grow, just um, keep recruiting them so we can keep doing this. We'll do it to all the settlements around here to change it to our culture. We can't do it to Rome, though. There's already a huge city. Yeah, that'll probably help Benonia. That'll definitely help Mariab. Here, media Latum probably actually needs population growth. I mean, it's got a good amount of population growth, it just doesn't have the people there. I guess it's a good opportunity just to keep building up its um, public order. Alright, that's all we can do there. Ships ready. They're going to be stuck there for at least one more turn. After which point, we'll come to Vienos and try and take that off them which is their new capital. And once we've taken that out of them, then they're stuck in Iberia. Boris. 
So how many settlements do we have now? 134. I don't think there's anything else I need to do, but I can't quite remember. Okay, yeah, bring you over. Hang on, whoops. Build that first. Okay, I think that's it for the turn. Let's move on. We Carthage declares war on me. Fair enough. Funny thing was, was I was planning on declaring war on them. Just not right this very second. Now, will they be able to defend against this? Hard to say without looking at it. I mean, stone walls definitely do help. They've got African forest elephants. I think we might be able. Oh, what's this? Elite African pikemen. They can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I, I'm confident that we might be able to defeat them. Yeah, confident that I might be able to. Even if they take the settlement off me, I'll just come back there and crush them. Well, they've made my choice here pretty clear. I'm going for Mastia. Uh, are we able to leave here yet? No. We need to live a bigger garrison. I mean, I could hire some mercenaries. Let me just see what's available. I'd rather not, though. Just be patient. And also, it's winter, so they can't move too far anyway. Uh, they'll surely withdraw. Yep, I'll attack them in the next episode. I actually think he'd be better at uh, conquering this settlement than any of my armies. As long as, you know, they actually attack. Now, did he just get them for free, or what happened to the other one that was going out this way? Okay, he, he must have backed off. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. I want you going up this way. You guys go and besiege the settlement. Oh. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement oh god, but yeah, but this guy can't make it there. Sir, my lord. And he needs to be the governor. Then again, one turn of rioting's not that bad. But we can't fight this battle now anyway. Because I gotta end the video. Before I do another fight. Tell you what. You can be in charge of these guys. I'll tell you what I'll do also. I'll recruit for him some successor medium cavalry. So that'll give us a new army. And I'll even recruit him some extra pikes. These ones here. So we'll be able to take this this turn. That's good. That we're at war with them, so we, we can't let them get to Paratonon. We'll have to come back over here and fight them, I think. After we've taken Kyrene. Sir! Boarding! No more moves, sir. Alright, what else is there to do? Let's just build a few things, then we'll move on. Yeah, build that. Okay. 
Okay, Rhodes became a huge city, so now we can jack up the taxes. Building shit, nothing too exciting here. Obviously, if you don't want to watch it, just skip ahead. As in, skip ahead to the next episode, because not going to be any more fights this episode. Unless you're desperate to call me fuckers. I know some of you are. Well, if you're so desperate, you know, fuck off, fuckers. Watch the next episode. There you go. You're called fuckers, so you can, you can go. Give you permission to leave. If you don't want to watch me do this. I actually kind of enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Administrating. I'm not just a bloodthirsty maniac. I, I like... That's the thing about the other Total Wars, though. Uh, the later ones. They don't have this level of... Of depth. When, you know, building a... Building our settlements up. Designing them. Yet four buildings to choose from. Which is just shit. Because, in essence, a city never really stops building. Like, never. Like... When something, you know, a great monument or whatever thing, anything has been built, you build something else. You just keep on building until, you know, you just run out of space. You wouldn't run out of space after two buildings. It's just so unrealistic. And the lack of depth as well. I can't stand it. Okay, Eventicos. Um. Yep, destroy that. I wonder if we can leave. Let's see. Yep, he can leave. Excellent. Because that'll provide um, enough garrison for 500 men, surely. Can't get there this turn, but next turn, Vionos is mine. So many less Roman here now. That's great. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 142 is next, I think. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.